I'm Ron Steiner, I'm a faculty member at the Chapman University School of Law. I have a PhD in political science as well as a law degree. I have also worked as a prosecutor for a little bit, so I teach criminal law and criminal procedure right now, but my scholarly interest is really the politics of law and kind of the political culture of law more broadly. Studying the law is, a, is an interesting field and people come to it in different ways. And I think sometimes one of the best ways to engage students is to remind them that law is part of a human drama. To really understand the case, you need to understand where did this case come from? Who are the participants? Why are they there? The most recent project I've done that reflects this is this research project I've done with some Dodge College undergrads here at the Chapman Film School. And we did a study of the occurrences of Miranda warnings, you know, you have the right to remain silent, you have the right to an attorney, in arrests on TV cop shows. With clipboards, they sat and they watched all these episodes and checked off. Was there an arrest? Was there a Miranda warning with the arrest? And we were able to document that Miranda warnings aren't being given on TV as often as they used to be. And that has a pretty profound implication because the Miranda warnings have become embedded in the popular consciousness. Everybody knows them because they've seen them so much. But Recently, the courts have said, well, maybe we ought to rethink the Miranda warnings and how necessary they are. So the article eventually was published, and uh, we got a little bit of attention from blogs and other sites and some new textbooks that are coming out. So maybe that changes the way people understand the law and maybe eventually changes the way courts apply the law. So Chapman gives me a really good chance to teach not just law students and to try and help them understand that storytelling and understanding the historical context is a valid way of thinking about legal change. But it also helps me to teach non-law students who want to be engaged uh, and who want to understand how they play a role in the evolution of policy and, and principles in American government.